So France is tonight mobilising 10,000 troops and 5,000 more police to increase security in the wake of last week's terror attacks on the capital. The unprecedented deployment was ordered by President Hollande this morning following a meeting with officials who made it clear that the threat level remains high in France, particularly to Jewish schools and other institutions. More details are emerging all the time about the events of last week and our foreign affairs correspondent Jonathan Rugman has secured the first foreign interview with Lasana Batili. He's the shop assistant, the Malian Muslim, who saved the lives of 15 hostages in Friday's supermarket siege. This is Jonathan Rugman's report. This morning, France woke up to a new normal. 10,000 troops to be deployed to protect Jewish institutions and other sensitive sites. The biggest internal military mobilization in peacetime, with well over 4,000 police joining the soldiers. Ce matin plus particulièrement, this morning, the President of the Republic asked the armed forces to help secure vulnerable areas of the territory due to the scale of the threats which exist for our country. But France's most wanted is long gone. This is CCTV footage of Hayat Boumediene, dressed in a white veil, checking in with a man at Istanbul airport on her way to Syria. She may have helped plan Friday's attack on a Jewish supermarket. Before Friday's siege ended in this gun battle, four Jewish hostages had been shot dead inside. But 15 others were shepherded to safety, thanks to the bravery of one man, a Muslim, who worked there. His name is Lassana Batiyi. He's just 24 and he's not even French. He's from Mali on a one-year working visa. In his first foreign interview, he told us he's frightened of reprisals for being known as the Muslim who hid 15 Jews in the cold store of the supermarket's basement. I heard gunfire and thought, oh my, what's going on? Then suddenly a group ran downstairs and they shouted, there's gunfire in the shop. And they said, they're here, they're here. We barred ourselves into the freezer. After I had been down below with the others for five minutes, we heard footsteps on the metal staircase. I thought it was him coming down, but it was my work colleague coming down. She said the man was asking for the keys to the shop, then she went back up. When you escaped via a fire exit, did you have trouble in your own mind leaving the people you had hidden? Before I left, I asked if they wanted to leave with me. They didn't want to. They said no, but it wasn't a good idea. They didn't want to. If they came up, that might make a noise. Perhaps he could be waiting for us. But I didn't want to force them. So I turned off the light and shut off the fridge and shut the door. These are photographs of those he left behind, among them a two-year-old baby. Some of those hiding texted farewell messages to loved ones they feared they'd never see again. When you ran out of the building, did the police not think that you were a potential terrorist yourself? Yes, they did. When I emerged, they told me to put my hands on my head and to lie on the ground. I panicked. There were lots of people and a lot of shouting. Mr. Batili says he's no hero that he's proud and humbled that vast numbers came out to demonstrate yesterday. Among them, his countryman, President Cater of Mali, who marched alongside President Hollande. Though this afternoon, the Malian leader told me the young Muslim should be given police protection against further attacks. He has a right to protection under our friends, the French people. President Hollande needs to take care of him and his security. So France is still nervous, still on a state of high alert, with this young man from Mali taking more precautions than most. Jonathan Rugman, Channel 4 News, Paris. And Jonathan Rugman joins me now. Uh, Jonathan, France is a vast country, far bigger than Britain. What are 15,000 extra troops and police going to achieve? Well, I think the government's had 48 hours to think about things since those twin sieges on 
Friday and it's come up with a, a maximum display of force which is as much about reassurance as anything else. We're also going to see new surveillance powers brought in in three or four months' time. If yesterday was all about a celebration of France's right to liberty, today is about the limitations to those liberty and France's determination uh, to enforce them. And already some French liberals are wondering whether France is about to embark upon an American-style war against terror, and they're worried about that. Well, now, the hero of the freezer, as he's being called, Monsieur Batelli, who you had this exclusive interview with today expressed his fears of his own safety. Any evidence he's being protected? No evidence as such from the French authorities. He has asked for protection. He met President Hollande uh, yesterday. What he'd really like, being a Malian on a temporary work visa, is to become a French citizen and have the rights that any other French citizen has. And given what he's done, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets it. Jonathan Rugman.